so this is a new thursday and if you guys are out here for a while you would definitely know it's time for three minutes thursday if you guys are new here i'll give a small introduction what's all about this series we talk debate and tackle a certain topic all thursdays mostly every thursdays so today we're going to look on five fabulous whatsapp tricks that you can just do with your whatsapp app just the whatsapp app no additional apps no more apks or nothing else to be frank just your phone and whatsapp in it so before jumping right into it please do hit the subscribe button and click the bell icon to hear your ringtone yeah just kidding the bell icon just make us close enough to catch up on every amazing video we upload on youtube also watch the video to the end as the best tricks and the giveaway section are kept to the last Oh my god, time is running. Why don't we just throw the intro and pump up the timer? Going on to the first one, it's regarding storage, images and video files that you receive in WhatsApp. So this could be really annoying if people keeps on sending files that you're not interested in, and all these go up with your useful files in the gallery and fills up the phone storage. So deleting these files by categorizing it to useful and trash would be a difficult process. Why can't we just avoid this by happening? So the first thing you have to do is go to the three dots on the top, settings and data and storage usage. Under the section media, auto download, turn everything to no media. To do this is simple, just click one section and just turn the tick mark off for everything. What this does is prevent the media from auto downloading and hence save you a lot of time. No, 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 don't go back stopping this video. I know this is something that every WhatsApp user know out there, but at least some didn't. There are more secret tips to cover. Doing this tip could not be extremely useful either. As you download images and video by yourself, it could also fill up the storage. What could we do to fix this? And here comes in the second tip. Downloading the media into your gallery could use some storage. But what if you can use your media, but they are not stored in your device, rather move up to the cache section. Yes, you can do this as well within the WhatsApp app. Just to do this, I can hop into the settings and then go into the chat instead. Here you can find an option at the last of the list, show media in gallery. Just uncheck the tick mark right to it and you're ready to go. Now the media files can be viewed but would never be saved to your gallery. Instead to the cache section of the phone. To clear the cache section, it's pretty much simple. Go to the device settings, storage and clear cache. It's similar in case of all Android phones. Don't be afraid in clearing the cache section as it contains only system junk files stored in it and it's good to do that to keep your phone to a good and healthy status. If you can't find these options we are mentioning in this video, try upgrading your WhatsApp with the latest version. But here also comes in a very bad situation. What if you need your friend's media he or she shared to be saved into your gallery? WhatsApp also has an inbuilt feature for this as well. Here comes the tip 3. Select your media to your gallery. To achieve this is quite simple. Open the chat of the person whose media you need to save to the gallery. Go click their name on the top bar which brings you to a new page. Here you can see media visibility and turn that to a yes. Pretty much simple. And you can see their files in gallery from now on. But what if a person sends you useless stuff for about 99% and suddenly one day sends you something important that you need to save to your gallery? There is an option for this as well. Select the media he or she sent with a single tab and at the upcoming page click on the three dots at the top and then click view in the gallery. It will directly take the media to the gallery and you can pretty much save it right there. Going on to the fourth tip, it's for you guys who love living a stealth social media life. What if you need to view someone's status without letting them know you actually did it? To do this, go to the WhatsApp settings again, account, then privacy and the last option, read receipts. Turn this off by unchecking the tick box. Now you can view anyone's status without letting them know you actually did it. For a complete video on this, watch this video from my friend where he covers this whole topic. I'll put the link up here and in the description as well. Turning off the read recipients also stops you from seeing who all viewed your stories and turn off the blue tick marks as well. If you just need to stay hidden and completely have all the features, we need to install a different version of WhatsApp, which is not a part of this video. If you're interested, I'll do make a video regarding this as well, if you cross a like of 115 number for this video. 
And the last tip is for you low mobile data users out there. There's a different feature which completely saves a ton of data in voice and video calling as well. To achieve this trick, hop into settings once again. Data and storage usage and the last option there. Low data usage and check it on. And here you would have a low data free experience in WhatsApp. I am pretty much sure I would have blown up the timer, but hope you guys would love this video. Please do subscribe and give a like as we struggle a lot in producing these videos. Also comment down your suggestions and doubts, we are always looking forward to replying you. Going to the giveaway section, this week we are giving away a collection of 10 premium apps as usual to participate, subscribe to Naval Studios, follow us on Instagram and Twitter and comment down below your user IDs. When I will be announced via our social media sites. So that's it guys for this Thursday, hope you enjoyed, ring the bell to get to us on next Thursday episode. Please do show some love, this is me Neville, you're watching this on Neville Studios. Signing out, peace.